Hello to all those who are watching my video. You know what? If I ever stand for elections, I will choose a seed as my party's logo. And who knows, I will win. I often wonder about the power of a seed. It looks so humble, yet it has magic inside. No matter how tall or wide a tree is, it started off a seed. Seeds are often round, oval, oblong in shape. They are red, blue, brown, black, grey in color. They are shiny, smooth, polished or thorny in texture. Seeds are just amazing. It knows which flower to bloom. It knows which vegetable to grow. It knows which smell to be given to which fruit. The color, the sweet smell, the season, all the information is hidden in that small seed. The purpose of every seed is to reproduce its own kind. Each seed has a potential to grow into a new, fully mature plant. So, would you not like to know how seeds disperse and help in reproduction? I will anyway tell you. So, listen. Seeds Dispersal Flowers produce fruits and most fruits bear seeds. However, all seeds of a given plant do not germinate near their mother plants. This is because they will then have to struggle to get sufficient air, water, sunlight and nutrients. Many of them would die. Nature therefore enables the seeds to move over to other places. It does through various agents such as air, water, animals, birds, insects and human beings. They all help in the transfer of seeds to different places. The process of transfer of seeds to different places is called seed dispersal. Ways of seed dispersal can be human made or natural. Humans select seeds of useful plants and sow them in the soil to get new plants. Have you seen farmers sowing seeds of different useful plants like wheat, maize and mustard? Write to me about it in the comments. I would like to know. In the meanwhile, I will share with you the natural ways of seed dispersal. Plants, especially those growing in forests, use these natural methods to scatter their seeds. First one is dispersal by wind. The seeds of madar, ark, thistle and dandelion get dispersed through wind. These seeds are very light, small and have hair on them. The hair enables them to fly with the wind and get dispersed. Another method is dispersal by water. Plants which are near water bodies like sea, river, lakes disperse their seeds through water. Coconut, water lily, hydrilla and lotus are examples of plants which disperse their seeds through water. The seeds float on water. 
for some distance before being carried away. They sink into mud on the shore or on the fringes of the water body. Dispersal by birds, insects and rodents. Sparrows, ants, rats, squirrels and many others carry fruits and grains to their burrows, nests and other places. They drop some grains or seeds on their way. These may grow into plants in the new environment. Dispersal by human and animals. Fruits which are fleshy and juicy are eaten by humans and other animals. Their seeds get thrown away. Seeds of watermelon, papaya, mango, pumpkin and ground often get dispersed by this method. These seeds can grow into new plants under suitable and favorable conditions. Plants like castor, burdock, cockleburr and mimosa depend on animals and humans to carry their seeds away from their parent plant. Their fruits are thorny or have hooks on them. They get stuck onto the clothes of humans or skin and fur of animals. They get carried to different places where they fall down and grow into new plants. Dispersal through cracking and bursting. Some fruits crack and burst on ripening and scatter their seeds far away from the parent plant. These grow into new plants. Seeds of pea, ladyfinger, bean and balsam get dispersed by this method. We are making more such educational videos. If you liked our creation, please give us a like or subscribe. We thank you for watching our video.